There's two main kinds of energy that we talk about in science. One of them is called potential energy, and the other is called kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is when things are moving. It's, it's basically related to how fast everything is traveling. But the potential energy is exactly what it sounds like. It's what potential does, does this thing have to do some sort of work on something else. And if it has a higher potential energy, then we say it can do more work on something whenever that potential energy is released and converted into kinetic energy of movement. So the easiest way to think about that is think about a mountaintop. If you have a very tall mountain and you're standing at the top of the mountain, you're very high above the ground. So you have a large amount of potential energy. The ground, if you were to walk down the mountain in a controlled way and don't you know, kill yourself falling down the mountain, when you get to the bottom, uh, at ground level, at sea level there, you would say that you are in a lower potential energy, maybe the lowest uh, energy that you can be because you can't fall through the ground, right? So the potential energy is the energy you have by virtue of your position in some sort of field. In this case, it's a gravitational field, but this potential energy thing, it applies to electric fields and, and pretty much any field in physics. So here I'm talking about gravity because it's very, very familiar to you. So your position at the top of the mountain is very high above the ground in a, in a location in that field, very high above the ground level, and we say that's a high potential energy state. Now at the ground level, at the bottom of the mountain, its position in the field is down way down there. We call that the low energy state. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.